Uh, we need to go to this place, right? Very cute emotes. Uh, Fraligator does not have Ice Fang, actually. I don't know where that is. How about we just go get our fucking badge? All right, I had another plan, but we're just gonna go get the badge. So, Steel Toot, we're gonna fly. Okay, not cut. We wanna fly, bro. Blackthorn. We're gonna give this a shot. Okay, uh, Pokemon. We're gonna go with the old one-two punch. And we're just gonna wing it. Right? Because, listen, I don't give a shit about the people leading up to it. So we'll probably speed past those guys. They're here now, finally. Our gym leaders are waiting for you. However, it would be impossible for a run-of-the-mill trainer to win. Am I run-of-the-mill? I don't fucking think so. Blackthorn City Pokemon Gym. Yo, champ in the making. It's been a long journey, but we're almost done. Count on me. Claire uses the mythical and sacred dragon type Pokemon. You can't damage them very easily, but you know, they're supposed to be weak against ice type moves. This is Pokemon Snap. You're very observant. What's up, baby? What to do, baby? Your first battle against dragons. I'll show you how tough they are. You really got a fucking Dratini? This is Paul. Hi, I'm Paul. He does have a Dratini, by the way. Listen, I'm just gonna... Level 34, too. Let's switch out. Spooter Man, get you some XP. Alright, it hits pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna bite the shit out of this fucking snake. You got school tomorrow at 7, so good night. Have a great night, my friend. Drink some water, get rested, and have fun at school. Two bites, by the way. Two bites, straight up sushi. Cool. Listen. If all they has is Dratinis, I'm just going to bite the shit out of them things. All right? Now I'm paralyzed. Another Dratini. I fainted. All right. Let me get the fuck up out of here. It always does 40, just like a flat rate. Bet. Lance told you that he'd like to see you again? Not a chance. All right, listen, bro. You already knocked out my fucking Fraligator. We're going to have to make multiple trips here, huh? We'll just use our hyper speed real quick, right? This is like a Bowser level. What the fuck? All right. Let's go ahead and switch our peeps out. Uh, I mean, I love big booties, and I love thick thighs. So probably, yeah. Yo, I forgot all about this shit. Like, 100% just forgot about it. The boulder fell through. How many trainers are here? You gonna stream it? Uh... Maybe. As long as I don't get arrested. I can't allow a nameless trainer past me. Claire would be livid if I did. Well, you're about to lose your goddamn job. I gotta sneeze. It's in there. What's up, Fran? Cedra. <laughs> I'm back. <sighs> Go, Jer Bear. Jer Bear. Smoke screen. These holds are fucking killer. You're doing great, baby. Use the ice punch. It's part water, so it's about to say I probably won't do that much damage. I'm just gonna headbutt the shell this thing. Look at that. Big damage. Big damage. Big XP too. Cool trainer Fran was defeated. Ugh. I lost. Uh, no, the only drowse we got was Thunder Dump. Claire's gonna be mad. Let me tell you something. Well, Mama, Claire could be mad all she wants to. I personally do not give a thin uck. 
All right, we need to push this one straight up, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, can I do that? Yeah, I can. Okay. Go obey. Pr Wait, I can't do that. Wait, why am I? Why'd I stop? Sorry, I gotta push this chicken nugget across the screen. Uh, we gotta fight this dude. It's not as if we all use dragon type Pokemon. He's gonna have a fucking Geo dude. Cody. Horsey? Uh, you're putting out your horsey to get headbutted. I will beat the shit out of a seahorse. Winner. <laughs> it's easy, brother. Send out Seedra? I'll headbutt the shit out of Seedra, too. I kind of like Kingdra. I think Seedra looks a little better, though. I think I used a Kingdra on my first Pokemon Y playthrough for some reason. I think I just had it. Big headbutt. Look at this. Look at this big damage. I'm not just headbutting fish. I'm going to slash it, finish it off. I don't care about your water gun. I'm a bear. I literally sleep in the water. Not really. But you get the point. Winner. <laughs> Level 41, baby. Sorry, Cody. Rat. If only I had a dragon. I mean, technically, they, they are dragon types. Members of our dragon user clan. <laughs> the dragon user clan. I ain't gonna lie to you, pimp. You need a better name. <laughs> Look at this fucker. She's gonna like... Oh, it's not even a 1% chance he's gonna lose. I think she's gonna snipe me. I think I have to drop down one of these holes. Cool trainer Mike wants to battle. Dragonair looks so fucking cool. Ice punch. In your mouth, too. So, Claire has to have a Dragonite, right? That's just not cool. I'm just gonna cut you. One of those extra damage to me. Yo, rest in peace, Dragonair. Imagine being the gym leader and watching me with a giant ass bear just cut a water snake in half. I know my shortcomings now. Thanks for showing me. No problem, brother. All right, we got to use a paralyzed heal. Probably gonna throw a potion on him too, you know? Nice little super potion. It's good. Yeah, she's gonna fucking snipe me the second I walk across here. Okay, never mind. Hey, they are full of life energy. If you're not serious, you won't be able to beat them. What you got? Lola. Ooh. Lola. Lola sends out Tratini. Go, Jer Bear! Punch this motherfucker in the mouth! <laughs> <gasps> the damage. Hey, Dragonair did look hella cute. Let's see if she has one. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not changing Pokemon, bro. We we actually have a good thing going. Look at that. <coughs> Big headbutt coming in. Winner, bro. I'm so fucking cracked at this game. Like I'm unreal right now. Cool trainer Lola was defeated. She does it. Way to go. It's a little pet peeve that fairy types can be dragon types now. Yeah, it's annoying. Dragons are weak against dragon type moves. Look at this giant. Can I walk in the lava? I can't. Listen, we're going to beat the brakes off her, okay? 
cracked. You can like walk in front, right? Yeah. I like it better on this side. I think the Pokeball like puts us both in the middle. Uh um, I am clear. The world's best dragon master. I can hold my own against even the Pokemon League's Elite Four. You still want to take me on? Fine, let's do this. And it's time. Hashtag Jer versus hashtag Claire. We're about to go one on one with greatness. Claire is wearing her best cape today in her lava gym. Leader Claire is gonna to wanna to issue a challenge here. Gonna start things off with a Dragonair. All dragon types Pokemon here from Claire. Dragonair from Claire, we love to hear it. Jer's gonna start things off with his Teddy Ursaring, AKA Ursaring, AKA Jer Bear. Looks like Jer Bear's gonna start things off here with a headbutt, big headbutt from the big bear to Dragonair. And hanging on with just a little bit of HP, the Thunder Wave happens to miss, and a Slash gonna come in here from the Big Bear, and down goes Claire's first Pokemon. Early advantage here is gonna be in the corner of Jer. Claire's thinking about her next decision. See what she does here. Looks like it's gonna be yet another Dragonair. A bunch of Dragon Water Snakes coming out. It looks like the Big Bear's actually unleashed an Ice Punch. Ice heavy damage against the Dragon types. It looks like Dragonair's gonna hold on just a little bit. This Dragonair is going to Thunder Wave off, and it looks like the Big Bear now suffers from a case of paralysis. Following up the Thunder Wave comes a Thunderbolt. Medium-sized damage here to the Big Bear. Kind of brushes off his shoulder and delivers a headbutt. And all of a sudden, Claire only has two Pokemon remaining. Let's see what she chooses to do from this point out. On the verge of having to give up one of her gym badges. Well, not give up, but award. But you get the point. And here comes... A third Dragonair, you would have never guessed it. You'll never see this move coming. I activate Pot of Greed. Here comes Dragon Breath inbound. Big Dragon Breath to the Big Bear. Again, the bear just brushes off the damage. An absolute tank we have out here. Here comes another headbutt. The big brain seems to be working. Dragonair back-to-back -back Dragon Breaths. Big moves here. Fully paralyzed is the Big Bear. Back to back to back Dragon Breaths. It's a triple crown three-peat as they're wearing down the Big Bear Pokemon with a critical hit. Fully paralyzed yet again. Here comes a fourth Dragon Breath and maybe holding on by a thread. The bear seems able to hang on just for one more move and down goes Dragonair. What's going to happen next? Claire is about to use Kingdra. Looks like Jer's actually going to swap out Pokemon. Here comes Kingdra out to battle. Brand new Pokemon here in this region. Kind of old, dusty, musty, crusty. It is level 40. And looks like the big alligator is going to come out. And the big alligator, the Fraligator, the big Soli himself delivers a bite. Doesn't do much damage to the Kingdra. Heavy in the HP field. Looks like now is going to come a Slash, but the attack's going to miss. And here comes a Hyper Beam. And the Hyper Beam... For Alligator Swiftness, able to dodge the big Hyper Beam, but it does get in close enough to land a giant slash. Kingdra fails yet again with a smoke screen, and it looks like the Fraligator in close now is just going to slash and bite his way to victory. And down goes Kingdra. Sully's going to open up 1773. Big XP here, and down goes Claire. I lost? I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. Jer is awarded $4,000, some of which he has to send to his mother. I won't admit this. I may have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know you should take the Dragon User Challenge. Behind the gym is a place called Dragon's Den. There's a small shrine at its center. Go there. If you can prove that you've got your lazy ideas, I will recognize you, what, as a trainer worthy of a gym badge. Even though Jer's defeated the fucking eighth gym leader, he's still not awarded a badge. He has to go do extra activities. Was there a reason that she didn't have a Dragonite? Dragonair, 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 Kingdra. What? If Claire allows it to her grandfather, our master will also. You may enter. Thanks, old man. 
pretty sure specifically not to clap you. Hey, I mean, if Miltank can clap me three times in a row, I'm pretty sure Dragonair. I'd be happier with Dragonair clapping me. Hello? You. How dare you enter uninvited. But I was invited. Do I, she should have gave me like a stamp or something. Maybe that badge, Darren. Maybe the badge would have showed that uh, I belong here. Oh, guess what, Dragonair? You'll never see this coming. I activate Pot of Greed. I'm just gonna headbutt this little bitch. Like I remember playing a little bit of Soul Sil or Heart Gold actually, or maybe it was Soul Silver. I can't remember. Uh, hi, whoopsie. Um, I just don't remember this much. Then again, I haven't played since 1999, so. The shrine ahead is home to the master of our dragon clan. You're not allowed to go in. Fuck you thought. I'm gonna walk over here. There are trainers here. I am doing swell. What we got in here? Let's fast forward this shit. It's a magic harp. Great. Fucking magic harp, bro. I got it. I got it. What's our name for Dratini? It sheds many layers of skin as it grows larger. During this process, it is protected by a rapid waterfall. What's our Dratini nickname for Dragonair and maybe even Dragonite? I don't know if I'm going to level it that much. I kind of want to stick to just using Gen 2 Pokemon when we get to the league. We had double martinis at the same time. That was pretty wild. I think we're going to go martini. Also because at heart, I'm an alcoholic. Not really. I don't drink alcohol that much, but still. I feel like there's another Pokemon that looks like... Toothless. More than this. But I love that. Martini. How the fuck you go for martini to wet noodle? You are a wet noodle. All right, let's beat this shit back up. Oh, good to see you here. No need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? Hat girl is such a hand. I don't know what that voice is. I'm sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry. You are to answer only a few questions. Ready? What are Pokemon to you? Friend. Ooh, I understand. What helps you to win battles? Strategy. Ooh, I understand. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Anybody. Ooh, I understand. What is the most important for raising Pokemon? Love. Ooh, I understand. Strong Pokemon. Weak Pokemon. Which is more important? Both. Ah, I see. You care deeply for Pokemon. Very commendable. That conviction is what it's important. Jer, don't lose that belief. It will see you through at the Pokemon League. Is that Claire? What's up, baby? God love her. So, how did it go? I guess there is no point in asking. You did fail? Wait, you passed? Oh, <gasps> that can't be. Wait, you were lying. Even I haven't been approved. <laughs> Claire, this child is impeccable in skill and spirit. Admit defeat and confer the rising badge. Or must I inform Lance of this? I, I, I understand. Here, this is the rising badge. Hurry up, take it. And with that right there, Jer has finally received his eighth and final gym badge. Well, not final, but... Well, yeah, eighth badge. Look at this. Winner. It's not even an accidental spoiler at this point, right? They know what they're doing. They know what the fuck they're doing. You have permission to peep, but not into... Ooh, okay. Spoiler should be punishable by death by the sense of... 
used to be an excuse, but he's already seen in the tributes. Yeah, but there's a difference between the tributes and the comments, right? Because I watch so many of the tributes and they all kind of blended together. My memory is impeccable, by the way. It's just with the tributes, they all blend together, right? Like if I think back on them, I've watched so many between the two channels that I, I can't remember shit from the tributes. But I can tell you the first and last name of everybody in my elementary school and what order we sat in. So, like, it's it's a weird thing. But comments are a whole different thing. Because if I read a comment saying something, that'll stick in my brain. I remember reading a comment about the show Weeds, and I remember it word for word. And it's from, like, 2010. And it ruined the whole show for me. I didn't watch the rest of it. How's your crush on Phoebe going? Phenomenal. They should just kill Elena. I agree with it. At this point. Well, I'm not going to tell you guys how far I how far ahead I am than what you see on YouTube or Patreon, but uh at where I'm where the YouTube stuff is, they should have killed her. Fuck it, you know? She ain't doing nothing. She ain't doing no good anyways. Jerry received the rising badge. Enable your Pokémon to use the move for climbing waterfalls. Also, all Pokemon will recognize you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. Claire, reflect upon what it is that you lack and this child has. She's pissed. Come again if you so desire. All right, bet. This has been quite some time since the trainer has gained our master's rare approval. In fact, not since Master Lance. You know young Master Lance. He looks so much like our master did in his youth. It's probably his dad. It's in their blood. Winner. I'm so smart. No, I don't want to talk to you again. I'm sorry. I can't walk that way. What's up here? Anything? It's just a cool place, I guess. Wait! Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry about this. Here, take this as my apology. The dragon's breath. So fucking smart, dude. No, it doesn't have anything to do with my breath. If you don't have it, you don't have to take it. What's the matter? Are you going to the Pokemon League? Do you know how to get there? From here to New Bark Town, then surf to the Pokemon League. The route there is very tough. Don't you dare lose at the Pokemon, okay? If you do, I'll feel even worse about having lost to you. Give it your everything you've got. Bam, I'm about to mollywop the motherfucker, bro. Mollywop. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot that. About the brothers, or, yeah, that stupid shit. And to defend Elena, they talked about other people who also turned their humanity off, but it was all spoilers. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, people did their turn their humanity off, but... I don't know. She was just hella annoying with it. As someone who finished the show, I'm going to sit back and enjoy the omnipotence. Uh, now, I don't want to read the comment section because I know so many spoilers would be... Pit yeah, it's it's trash. Let's mute that, actually. Is there something down here? What the fuck is the point of this, then? Is there a secret item? What's the point of this strip? I'm so smart. I found a dragon fang. Ah. All right. First of all, we haven't been home in a while, right? Hi, Mom. Hi. Welcome home. You're trying very hard, I see. I've kept your room tidy. Or is it about your money? It's about the money. Uh, get. Yeah. How much do I want? God, dog. Look how much money she has. Hey, give me three of them. Let me get 30 bills from you. What if I say no? Hmm. 
No. I love her. No thought, she's empty head. Wait. Do you know what you just did? Bruh. I fucking thought Kanto was only in Soul Silver and Heart Gold. I completely forgot that it was in Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Again, 1999. I was six. I was fucking six years old. I'm sitting here like a silver cave where we fucking go to the Pokemon League, bro. You go through Victory Road. That is fucking crazy. I forgot that. We have a whole... I'm, dude, I'm like, there's so many Pokemon missing from Gen 2 I haven't seen yet. That's because they're in Kanto. Whoopsie. <laughs> Whoopsie, you did the command for the followage to see how many followers I have, and then you asked what the 593 was. <laughs> We're in Kanto, bid. Yo. Yo. Yeah, you were talking about Snorlax and then the thing, and I was like, I don't think that's in this game. I was just letting you, I just gonna let you keep saying it. Tojo Falls, the links between Kanto and Johto. What the fuck? Can't get up there. What's down here? We have a whole other game to play. Tentacruel, listen, buddy. I like you, but no. There's an item, friend. It's a rare candy. But to do something new was in this game, but I forgot it wasn't until you got to Kanto. I just thought you were just talking about Kanto. Or I thought you were just talking about the Gen 1 games. And I'm like, listen, I don't fucking think Snorlax is in this one. Silver Cave is a big place. You get certain Pokemon there when you head towards Victory Road. Okay. So, yeah, the way to get to Silver Cave, I know how to. Okay. I remember. I just forgot that fucking Kanto was in gold, silver, and crystal. There's so many fucking tentacles. Wow, bro. My brain. I'm like, I haven't seen. There's Pokemon that I want that I haven't seen yet. Duh, because this is where you use Waterfall. This makes me so happy. What is this? We got to Moonstone, Freddo. A Moonstone. <laughs> I don't have anything I want to use a Moonstone on. I'm going to put that shit in a box. But wait, Tank can use Waterfall. Yes. Taint used waterfall. You're all welcome. Hi. It's rare to see anyone come here. Are you training? Maybe. Megan. <gasps> Megan! <laughs> One day. One day, Megan. One day. Megan has Bulbasaur. Bro, if she has the starters, I'm gonna fucking cry. Uh, Fire Punch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bulbasaur! She's gonna have the fucking starters. Oh, she has Ivy. There's no way she has Venusaur. There's no way. I'm molly whopping her team. Megan. <laughs> oh, Megan. She has Venusaur, bro. Look at it. I love it so fucking much. I'm going to punch it in the face with my fireball fist, but. It lived. Razor Leaf. I'm gonna headbutt. Oh, wait, I'm gonna do another fire punch. I clicked too fast. 
Megan, I'm so sorry. Kinda looks like Megan too, bro. You're really strong. Please don't ask for my number. I'm checking out pre and post evolution Pokemon. Evolution really does make Pokemon stronger, but of all forms also learn moves later on. I love her. Matt, here he comes. Hold it! Are you gonna take the Pokemon League challenge? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You're so much weaker than I am. Not like I was before. I now have the best and strongest Pokemon with me. Jer, I challenge you. He has six Pokemon. Here is a showdown between Jer and Matt, rivals from the same fucking New Bark town. Here they go. Mono y mono, Pleb versus Pleb. First up, out the gate. Matt's going to send out Sneasel, and Jer sends out Toot Toot. Toot Toot, use Fly! Sneasel comes out with a screech, absolutely misses. Misses the Fury Cutter. Here comes Tutu with the big head. Big head, big fly. Does barely fucking anything. Looks like Jer may go ahead. I'm actually... Jer's going to keep Tutu out for the time being. Here comes a quick attack by Sneasel. Gets in. Actually does a decent amount of damage. Here comes a peck from the Big Al. Tutu doing a little bit of damage here. Here comes Fury Cutters. In from Sneasel. Not very effective. Here comes Hypnosis. It did not affect Sneasel whatsoever. A missed opportunity, missed turn, and now here come the Fury Cutters. Critical hit. This is only going to do more damage as time goes on. Another Pex coming in. Pex here from the bird. Sneasel in close. Another Fury Cutter. The attack actually misses. Here comes a tackle from Toot Toot. Getting Sneasel down right where he wants him. The big bird Pokemon going to take damage here from the quick attack. And here comes a tackle. What up, baby? What's up, Sule? Did I tell you 2600 damage? You did actually, 12 bomb, hashtag flex. I could probably piss and I would, I would level up. <laughs> Magneton comes out, it looks like Jer is actually gonna switch here to his big bear Pokemon. Out comes Jer Bear the Ursa Ring. Magneton's gonna use Thundershock here. Let's see how much of that the big bear can take. Kind of absorbs most of it, but the 10% fucking chance he would get paralyzed, it actually happens. And here comes a headbutt going to be coming in after another Thundershock here from Magneton. Fully paralyzed. Can't make a move. Back to back to back. Call it the Trip Bull. The three-peat. Wonderlust. There's the headbutt. Does fuck all. Barely doing any damage, but... It's all he can muster at the moment. Fully paralyzed, Jer here gonna dish out headbutts. And down goes Jer Bear. That's a big blow to start this match off. We can't make the switch. Into Soli for the fear of the Thunderbolt. Looks like we're gonna send out Spooderman here. Spooderman and his smiley face asshole may have the ability to get off one Nightshade, if possible. One HP holding on. Here comes Nightshade. And down goes Magneton. Big XP coming in for Toot Toot, getting to level 32. And Spooderman will also get 600 EXP. Looks like we're about to send out Golbat. Looks like it's time for Jer to send out the boy he's had with him all along. And that is Sully, the Fraligator Alligator. See if he can backpack here, maybe pull off a clean sweep with the rest of the team. Sully's gonna use a Surf here. Big water damage coming in for the Flying Bat Pokemon, known as Golbat, mouth wide open, big head, empty thoughts. Almost gets all the damage. Here comes in Confuse Ray. Alligators are not that bright. They tend to hit themselves quite often. It's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. Sully looks confused, but does get the slash off. Big slash, and down goes Golbat here inside this cave. 
mano a mano, Jer versus Matt. And here comes Meganium. Not changing. Big Meganium comes in, the big Tyrannosaurus, Jurassic, long neck, leaf, fuckhead Pokemon. Fraligator is confused, Sully punches himself in the face because of the confusion, and here comes Razor Leaf. This may end up being a bad combination for Jer here. Can't get it off. Jer's gonna try to do one more move here before switching. Here comes Bite. Heavy damage coming in from the bite. Not really. Another Razor Leaf. The attack misses. Now the question is, who do we send out for slaughter? Spooderman comes out. Jer going to go into his bag of tricks. He has one max revive left. Going to go ahead and use that for the big bear Pokemon, it looks like. Refueling the tank as Meganium body slams the poor Spooderman, Spider-Man, Arachnid Pokemon. Looks like this is where things are gonna get feisty here because Jer sends out himself big bear mode. Here comes Fire Punch as soon as this Razor Leaf comes off. Meganium gets off a Razor Leaf. 48 pieces of damage, and here comes a big Fire Punch from the bear Pokemon. Meganium hangs on to fight yet another day. Another Razor Leaf coming in. This should do big damage to the big bear, Jer Bear, Ursa Ring, Teddy Bear. Big critical hit this time. It's like Jer's gonna finish things off with a headbutt to knock down Meganium. Heavy XP here coming from both parties. It's like about to send out Haunter. Will Jer change Pokemon? I don't think so. In comes Haunter. What's Jared going to do here? Haunter's going to curse itself, inflicting self-inflicted wounds. Hashtag big damage, Hannah Baker style. Here comes an ice punch, and down goes Haunter. One Pokemon left for Matt. We're going to see what he does here in this cave. How the announcer got in here, we still have no idea. It's going to be a Kadabra. Will Jared change Pokemon? Absolutely not. Kadabra inbound. Looks like we have another Ice Punch come up. Futuristic Sight used there from Kadabra. Ice Punch, heavy damage. But, lo and behold, self-inflicting wounds from the curse. Future Sight again. Looks like Jer should finish things off with a big headbutt. And down goes Kadabra, and Jer yet again mops the floor with young Matthew. Matt was defeated. I couldn't win. I gave it everything I had. What you possess and what I lack. I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me. I haven't given up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. And when I do, I will challenge you and I will beat you down with my power. Hm. You keep at it until then. All right, little bitch. Have fun walking through the cave. Dun, 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 